Today we're going to be looking at the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is basically like the, the back road drive to the Appalachian Mountains. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the resources and the information to get out there and camp. And so many of the drives and places in this country are just very iconic, like Highway 1 going through Big Sur or the, the Iron Mountain Road going through the Black Hills in South Dakota. Well, today we're going to be covering the Blue Ridge Parkway uh, that connects basically two different national parks. And it, it, like I said, it's the, the back road to the Appalachian Mountains. It's a winding two-lane road that hugs the hills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, connecting the Shenandoah National Park and the Great Smoky Mountains. I do have to warn you if you're gonna try and traverse the entire parkway to find these beautiful views, it does have its share of hairpin corners and the pullouts aren't always accommodating to larger rigs. So uh, you wanna do your research and check these things out before you just dive into the whole drive. So we're gonna start our list off at the Shenandoah National Park and work our way down. So the first one that we have is the Lynchburg Blue Ridge Parkway KOA, where the real deal says, what an awesome place to stay. The roads up to the campground was a two-way highway. Lynchburg is a nice 30 minutes drive with history, colonial architecture, and lots of biking. The Riverwalk Trail is perfect for those looking for exercise and the great outdoors. If that doesn't work for you, you can look at the Cave Mountain Lake Recreation Area, where one review says the campground itself exceeded our expectations. The site was clean and well-kept, nestled along a bubbling creek that feeds into the mountain lake. If our path ever leads back to this area, we will certainly camp here again. Moving down the parkway, we find Peaks of Otter Campground, where Todd said it's a really nice spot that has tons of shade. There is tons of hiking to be done, a lodge with a restaurant that is within walking distance of the campground. Plan on disconnecting from the world when you are here, which is what you should do every once in a while. Moving down the Blue Ridge Mountains, we come to Chantilly Farm Campground, where one review says, absolutely beautiful. In the Blue Ridge Mountains, close to the little, very little town of Floyd, peaceful, fun hills to bike on, amazing sunrises and sunsets over the mountains, great local restaurants, and the view. Long and winding roads to get there add extra time. Now, as we continue the road down to North Carolina, we come to Stone Mountain State Park, where one review says, large spaces, lots of great hiking. We loved our stay here. Very friendly vibe on the campground, very pet friendly. Have the kiddos bring their bikes, tons of great hiking in the park. Do check maps for the best roads into the area. Those switchbacks are no joke. Next on our list is Julian Price Campground, where BB Van Life says, great campground along the Blue Ridge Parkway. You can't beat the location of this campground, located right off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Great hiking trails, recommend the Boone Fork Trail, but be prepared for many stream crossings. As we continue our trek down the road, we come to Crabtree Falls Campground, which is labeled a nice little campground that is not very busy. Most people come to see the main attraction, which is a hike to Crabtree Falls. Last on our list is Wilson's Riverfront RV Park. And we have a review from Liz and Jake. Liz is on the Campendium team. She's, she's basically the, the admin hero. But her review says, what makes this park for us is the trail running right through the park and then up along the river for several miles, all the way to New Belgium Brewery, about two and a half miles. If you wish to go that far, we also have walked a few miles into Asheville proper. There is an area to launch a kayak or canoe down a bit in the nearby park, or you could probably plop it in via the riverbank in the RV park. So as usual, I hope that this whet your appetite to see what is available along the Blue Ridge Parkway. It really is stunning and beautiful. If you wanna read the whole article and see so many more places to camp, there'll be a link down in the description. If you want more details about any of the places or locations that we talked about camping at in this video, you'll find those in the links down in the description. It'll take you to Campendium to get all of the details. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, hit that subscribe button and remember to get out there to stay safe and to keep exploring. We'll see you in the next one.